Yo, what's going on my VVOGs, my Omi homies, my fellow master collectors, and everybody else on YouTube. It's your bromie, the Gayo, back at it again with another VV video. Let's do it. Will Ecomi's VV app flip the OpenSea marketplace? That is the question. So I, I recently came across a very good Medium article, and uh, basically in this video, I'm gonna read it to you verbatim, word for word. So consider this video as an audiobook. You know, just listen to it as you're driving or cleaning or whatever. There's not much to look at unless you like reading along with the words. Um, I think the words in this article is going to resonate with a, with millions of people. I think I think millions of people are going to come across this same conclusion. So um, yeah, it's going to be very interesting to listen to. So with with uh, without further ado, let's just breeze into it. Willie Comey's licensed NFTs VV app flip OpenSea by Peter Martin. You're probably wondering who the hell is Ecomi? I've never heard of them. Yeah, exactly. Up until last month, December 2021, I had never heard of them either. Like you and many others in crypto, I spent hours researching altcoins, looking for that one gem in thousands that actually isn't a sh coin. The one that ticks off all the boxes and mainstream crypto Twitter hasn't got a clue about yet. You know what I'm talking about. The Holy Grail token. That company we can get into before the masses and make bank. So elusive and rare that they only come out on a full moon on the fifth Wednesday of the month. Every fourth year rare. One day, I was listening to a guy on YouTube. I don't remember who it was, but I listen to YouTube crypto channels while working at my desk and I hear him say something like, keep an eye out on Ecomi and their licensed NFT app, Vivi. Okay, when I heard that, my ears perked up like a hunting dog in full rigid form. Tail stretched out, nose pointed and ready to pounce. I immediately stopped what I was doing because I had never heard of the term licensed NFTs. So that guy got my brain spinning and my heart already starting to beat a little bit faster. Like what? Someone is selling not just pictures of apes, but actually selling licensed intellectual property in NFT format? Holy mackerel, Batman. That's gotta be a gold mine. I started researching Ecomi, and I'm gonna lay out what I found, and you tell me if this isn't the holy grail token we seek. Ecomi is the company behind an app called Vivi that sells licensed NFTs from IPs like Disney, Marvel, DC, Coca-Cola, USPS, Cartoon Network, Star Trek, and many more. The founder is a guy named David Yu, and in a tw 2018, he was at the Las Vegas licensing show and presented the idea of licensed NFTs to the godfather of licensing, Alfred Kahn. Mr. Kahn is the guy who brought Pokemon to the world. Not to mention he worked with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Yu-Gi-Oh!, James Bond, and the list goes on in licensing. That tells you everything you need to know about the connections of Alfred Kahn. Shortly after, Vivi was born. David Yu is highly experienced in launching brands all over the world, and when you read the white paper, you can see that the entire team is really top-notch. Daniel Crothers, co-founder, Mikhail Duffy, and Joseph Janik, co-founder, make up the rest of the key team, and all three of these guys are highly experienced in business and crypto. Read the white paper. So we have a great team that is experienced. That checks off the first box. The second box I look for is does the company have a working product? You and I both know most crypto companies that are small cap don't have a working product. You're literally investing in a hope and a prayer with these companies. I don't like to invest in hopes and prayers. I prefer companies that have an actual working product. Guess what? Vivi can be downloaded right now on your phone. I suggest you do it now and start collecting some licensed NFTs because there is nothing cooler than having a digital Spider-Man in your phone recorded on the blockchain. I should know. I got one. In 2021, Vivi did over 100 million plus in revenue and its CEO David Yu said that they are on track for over $1 billion in revenue for 2022. As I'm sure you already know, NFTs are growing so fast you can't keep up with all the new projects that come out every single day. Apparently, people are crazy for licensed NFTs that are the superheroes we grew up watching on TV or reading about in our comic books. Vivi bounces around between the 5th to 7th ranked NFT marketplace according to DAP Radar's marketplace rankings. Depending on the 24-hour volume, they are always in that area. 
since January 4th, 2022, they have sold between 1 million and 4 million per day on their app. You can see the daily numbers from this Google Doc that was created by Vivi Fanatic on Twitter, at Puddin' Cheeks, who put this together along with the token burn. The cool thing is, Dapp Radar doesn't track Vivi because it's on an app and not on a website. Therefore, mainstream crypto isn't clued in on it yet. So that is the second box, which is fantastic because we have a company that has a fantastic product in licensed NFTs and an app that is taking over the space. BB is growing at an insane rate. In all of January 2021, the total sales were $25,540, and now they're doing over $2 million per day in 12 months time frame. That's crazy when you think about it. From 25k in the whole month of January 2021 to over 2 million per day in January 2022, let that sink in. Vivi currently has over 1.4 million active users on its app and as of January 18th, 2022, is ranked number 5 in Apple App Store as 5th top grossing app in the United States. Okay, let's talk about the third box we need to check off and that is the tokenomics of the project. It's a bit complicated, but I will try to explain it, and I think it's genius as well. So the company is Ecomi. Based in Singapore, their licensed NFT platform is their app called Vivi, and the token for the app is Omi. Omi is the backbone of the app. So one of the things for mainstream adoption is making usage easy. That goes for anything crypto related or any product in general. The Vivi app sells and mints the NFTs in US dollars, this makes it super easy, uncomplicated, and speedy to get set up using the app. So when someone wants to buy or mint an NFT in the app, they first purchase gems. Each, each gem equals $1. When someone buys an NFT for say $100, then in the background, Ecomi swaps the $100 for $100 worth of Omi tokens. Then those get burned. So the Omi token is a utility token and deflationary. This was a brilliant move by the founders because it doesn't hinder mass adoption from those people who are new to collecting NFTs and would struggle with buying crypto, transferring it via wallet, etc. Everything is done in the background with the OMI token. The total supply cap is 750 billion tokens. Thanks to the tokenomics design of Vivi, almost 450 billion of these tokens will never enter circulation. Keep in mind that for every $1 spent on BV, the same equivalent amount in OMI is getting burned, so the total is always going down. Right now, OMI is a GO20 token, but on January 27th, it's migrating to Ethereum via Immutable X. At that time, OMI will also migrate to ERC20. I won't go into full-blown detail on the tokenomics because that would make this article 10 times longer, but we'll give you an overview uh, with a link to Ecomi's deeper explanation. In order to facilitate all the transactions that take place on Vivi, the OMI tokens were initially distributed as follows from their site. Vivi Reserve Wallet, 300 billion tokens. These tokens never enter circulation. Vivi Vault Wallet, 40 billion OMI added for initial liquidity. This wallet acts as a staging wallet between the in-app reserve and the burn wallet. These tokens never enter circulation. Business development, long-term initiatives, 20% or 150 billion OMI. Team advisors, board members, 20% or 150 billion OMI. Private sale and public IEO, 110 billion OMI. Note, the tokens held in the reserve in vault wallets are imperative for the functioning of the app. And as such, those tokens never enter circulation. Over 100 billion tokens have been burned since the launch of the platform. 97 billion were removed from the founders allotment and the business development fund and locked into smart contracts by the team. In addition, another 6 billion have been burned from the sale of NFTs on the platform. So out of a total of 750 billion tokens originally minted, there are now less than 647 billion in total supply and less than half of that supply will, will ever enter active circulation. You can look at the current figures here um, at Omi Burn Sheet. Currently, at the time of writing, there are 311,292,950,732 tokens that will ever be in circulation. Remember that tokens are always getting burned every day. In January, 
2022, between the 1st and 25th, it's averaging about 140 million per day getting burned. In the VV app, you can buy and mint an NFT when it drops, and the other way to buy is in the marketplace. Either way, the purchases still burns the tokens for the equivalent number of gems to OMI tokens. 10% of the revenue generated from the sale of NFTs in the app is used to buy back the OMI token from exchanges so that the reserve wallet in-app is always full. You can also track the token wallets here at https token.vv.me. Listen, this was a very brief intro into the tokenomics for Ecomi. For the love of God and all that is holy, go read the article here for a full explanation. The fourth box is growth. No one wants a stagnant company. BV has experienced incredible growth and what is even more amazing is that it's only available on a few exchanges which are Bitforex, Xendex, and Gate.io. Their token OMI was the second highest gainer in 2021, only after AXS. Let that resonate in your cerebellum because it was only available on those three exchanges and it still was the number two gainer for 2021. After January 27th, 2022, it will be available to be listed on mainstream exchanges like Coinbase, Qcoin, Binance, etc. When OMI hits the mainstream exchanges, I believe it's going to explode and continue to explode as more and more people download and continue to use the app buying NFTs. The app user base is growing every day. Tokens are getting burned every day at a rate of about 114 million per day and rising in burn rate. NFT prices are also exploding and yes, tokens do get burned when they are purchased in the VV marketplace as well. Not just on the drop. I may have already said that. The last box is community. I know what you're thinking already. Nobody gives a sh about community. Well, hold on, on hold on to your horses, cowboy, because um, how do you think Bitcoin grew from a few computer geeks in, in 2009 to a trillion dollar market cap? It literally was the community, and it still is. People who got orange pilled early on and told everyone they knew about it, like the disciples of Christ on a mission to save the world. There are more laser eyes on Twitter than grains of sand on the beach. Okay, I'm exaggerating about the grains of sand, obviously, but you're in crypto, then uh, you know what I'm talking about. I can confidently tell you that with the exception of the Bitcoin laser eye army, there is no bigger and more fanatic group of fans than with Ecomi and their VV app and token. If you look on Twitter, just search for Omi or Ecomi and you are going to see a sea of red circles in the handles. Are there other co crypto companies that have people putting a logo in their Twitter handle? Search for Sand or Matic or any other coin and it's a big fat no. Our, our, I already gave you one example above with Puddin' Chicks who created the, the token buy and burn sheet earlier. There's also Ecomi Well who posts the whale movement in the token, Ecomi Burn who posts the daily burns uh, of OMI, and at Ecomi Data posts the weekly OMI prog progress data every Sunday, OMI the Clown who created Ecomi Wiki that produces the NFT stats for the VV app. On YouTube, you have channels dedicated just to OMI and VV app. These are not altcoin channels reviewing dozens of coins. These are channels that solely focus on BV and their OMI token. There is Taps Trades, who does excellent info on OMI token and where the company is headed. Another one of my favorites is Cavell Anderson and Foster Hilt. I of course gotta add the real Randy Chavez as well. He is one of the OGs in the VV com YouTube community. Not to, and, and, and let's not uh, forget, forget to mention the Gale. He's a master collector training, documenting his NFT journey. These are just some of the people who have created content around the Ecomi ecosystem. There are many more. The Omi Homie Army is growing every day. But here's the thing. How did Omi grow so fast without even being listed on a single mainstream exchange? I believe the answer is IP. Intellectual property is the key. There are millions of NFTs for sale, but only a select few that are actually licensed IP NFTs. It's extremely hard to figure out which NFT to invest in when it's non-licensed. Do I buy an ape? A monkey? A fish? A fantasy character? An alien? A monster? The list is endless. How do you know if it will go up in value? 
Do you think a Disney NFT is going to go up in value when the entire world literally knows who Mickey Mouse is? It's a no-brainer, right? How about Batman, Superman, or Spider-Man? The Disney partner statue dropped on VV November 12, 2021 for 333 US dollars. The floor price nine weeks later is now 41,800 US dollars. What makes NFTs valuable is the community. Board Ape Yacht Club has a community and once celebrities jumped on board, it was game over for investors. The prices skyrocketed to their delight. Board Ape Yacht Club done a, has, has, has done a fantastic job with their collection. However, trying to predict the next Board Ape Yacht Club NFT collection is beyond my superpowers. But when it comes to licensed NFTs, it's not that hard to predict the winners. People crave what they grew up experiencing. That is why licensed NFTs will just continue to grow and grow. This company hasn't even been talked about in mainstream crypto. Imagine what happens when word gets out. NFTs are going mainstream and talked about all the time now on TV these days. The masses are getting curious and heading into the water. If the soccer mom from Port Angeles, WA, does some research on NFTs because she read an article about them in People Magazine, which direction will she go? A licensed Wonder Woman NFT that she grew up reading about and watching the TV series or some random cartoon picture NFT of fill in the blank, monkey, fish, alien, frog, etc. My guess is she will buy the licensed Wonder Woman NFT she grew up with and is familiar with, not the frog, fish, or monkey. Will Vivi eventually flip open C? Who cares? That's not the question you should be asking. The real question you should be asking yourself is, can I make a life-changing fortune investing in Omi now before mainstream crypto finds out about it? Read the white paper linked above, read the tokenomics report linked above, and do your research. Then ask yourself, is this the holy grail altcoin I've been looking for? If you enjoyed this article, it is his first, please tweet, share, and tell others. And if you really want to be in the cool club, follow him on Twitter because he's lame and doesn't have that many followers at humdog64. Not financial advice, not a financial advisor. Do your own research, blah, blah, blah. And with that being said, let us move on. Shout out to Peter Martin. And that's the video, my friends. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. If you learned something or enjoyed the content, feel free to drop a like on the video and consider subscribing for more VV content like this. So, a very interesting article indeed. Uh, basically, anybody who's been on VV for a while understands all of that. And uh, if this is your first time hearing about Ecomi or Omi or Vivi, um, congratulations, because this might be the first day of the rest of your life. You know, this app has changed a lot of lives and will continue to do so for people who are engaged and are open minded and are willing to do their research. You know, so uh, hopefully, you know, this um, video taught you something or, you know, or just like reminded you reminded you of what you already knew. And with that being said, uh, I am not a financial advisor. Nothing I say in this video is financial advice because I am learning just like you guys. I am just your friendly neighborhood genius. <laughs> Sharing his thoughts and opinions on this most awesome app known as Vivi. So take everything that you hear from me with a grain of salt. Because things could change, change, change. And with that being said, if you would like to follow me on the Vivi app, if you look to the bottom right hand corner, you will see my Ben Simmons Spider-Man, which I have, have listed for 1 million gems. If you find him in the app, you will be able to follow me and I will follow back. And with that being said, thank you again for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Until then, peace out and huddle strong, my friends. Later.